Did you know 21st May is Endangered Species Day and 22nd May is the United Nations International Day for Biological Diversity? The theme this year is we are part of the solution for nature. Yes, it's a perfect time to share awareness of the need to protect all species and share some of our work in the Wild Track Specialist Group. That's right, but there is so much work to be done. Species are disappearing thousands of times faster than baseline rates, and sometimes our task seems overwhelming. For example, there are only around 5,500 black rhino and 7,000 cheetah left in the world. But if we approach conservation in a community-based and animal-friendly way, and we work together, there is hope. Our Wild Track Specialist Group is composed of more than 20 professional conservation biologists working across five continents to stem biodiversity loss. Using only non-invasive and cost-effective approaches, we are really making a difference across a range of endangered species. That's true. Footprint Identification Technology, FIT, is very much conservation from the ground up by collecting data on species numbers and distribution from the footprints they leave behind. The great part of this is that we don't need to disturb the animals at all. We just photograph the footprints they leave behind. Not only that, but our group works closely with local communities whose traditional ecological knowledge is so vital for sustainable conservation solutions. That's truly democratized science. Everybody from professional biologists to local experts hikers and ecotourists can collect footprints and contribute to our work. Let's meet some members of the Wild Track Specialist Group and hear a little about their work. Jumela Ong from Botswana. I am Pohoso Africa Ichuteng and I am part ecology and conservation team in Botswana. Our mission is to promote the long-term survival of leopards and lions population in the Kalahari. We do so by integrating research and conservation projects with our community within and outside Kuta Game Reserve and Central Kalahari Game Reserve. To study and monitor big cats in our low density environment, we have to be very creative. For our research, we combine our sun knowledge of tracking with exciting new technology like wild track. Our tracking team can find and follow leopards and lions tracks on very difficult trail. And by collecting the image of wild track, we can finally identify the single individual and study them without impacting their behavior. The main conservation challenges we face in our area is the conflict between large carnivores and livestock farming. We assist the community in informing them on how to identify the carnivores from their tracks and how to protect their livestock. Together with Wild Track, we hope to be able to develop a tool which can be used by other researchers and by other heather community to easily identify species and individuals of carnivores who are living in our land. We believe that such tool can help us reducing the human carnivores conflict in our area by understanding better which conflict animals is more problematic to livestock farm and so trying to find solution to promote coexistence. Thank you, Salasenthe, stay well. It's great to know that across five continents, members of the Wild Track Specialist Group are really helping conserve endangered species in such unique and creative ways. But there is still a lot to do. Each day in South Africa, a rhino is slaughtered for their horn. We need your support to continue our work. Please consider making a donation to this campaign that will support these four projects.